So here's how to stop eating like a little kid. Because your eating habits really show a lot of who you are as a person. And the first thing is, do you actually have control over your food? And yeah, I know this sounds kind of weird, but like, do you know what are the basic functions of protein, fat, and carbohydrates? And I know this sounds kind of nerdy, like, do I really have to know this? But if you don't know this, you won't have full control over your body. And this is beyond just like, oh, eat proteins for muscles and then cut sugars if you don't want to get fat. This is more like if you want to add 10 pounds of muscle to yourself right now, do you know how to do that? Do you know how much calories you have to eat? How much protein, fat, carbohydrates? And what does that look like on your like daily meal plan? What minerals or vitamins does your body need so you don't get really sick? And which food actually have them? And I'm not telling you to go and become like a nutritionist or something. But the things that I just mentioned are just some of the very basic things that you need to understand if you want to give your body what it needs. Don't just eat like crap and then whatever you feel like eating. And wonder why exactly are you not getting stronger and keep getting fatter. Add more quality foods to your diet. If you want to be a man that knows their way around the world, hit that subscribe button. Next is you have to limit alcohol. I know alcohol is almost known as like liquid courage, like it makes people not feel so anxious. But when the effects of alcohol wears off, you go right back to where you originally are, being very anxious. And this is how some people get really addicted to alcohol. So if you really want to just screw up your life, this is one of the ways to do it. And on top of that, alcohol causes a lot of dehydration, which means it just sucks all the water out of your body. So if you just had a great workout, this will pretty much deplete your ability to regain and build your muscles. So alcohol pretty much cancels out the effect of working out because your body pretty much needs water for almost everything, including building muscles. So alcohol isn't really like a bad thing, but for a lot of people, it does more harm than good. Next is, what's the range of food that you have actually tried? Have you ate the same 20 foods for the last 5 years? Do you still hate eating bell peppers and carrots? Because this is kind of like a sign that you are still thinking and eating food the same way as you did in like 6th grade. Because if you take a 5 year old to a Michelin star restaurant, it's really just a waste of money. Because they don't know how to appreciate the complexity of the food, the taste, the presentation, everything. But now this is my question for you. Do you still eat like a 5 year old because your taste buds hasn't grown out of just eating french fries? So expand your food range. Try different new foods, and especially the things that you did not like before. This last one is, do you have a goal for your foods? And I know it sounds kind of weird, and you don't have to have a goal, but if you do have a goal in life, how you eat can actually support it. Like if you want to look good and have a six pack, how you eat is almost critical to this. If you simply want to get stronger and build muscles, that's another type of diet. Or if you're trying to live longer, you might invest more in natural foods that are much more nutritious. So basically, if you know where your goal is, you can match your eating to really support that so it doesn't take away from it. But if you want to get shredded, but you don't want to give up eating pizza and ice cream all the time, like your food goal doesn't match your life goal. And this is why a lot of people get stuck with years of no progress. So let me know in the comment section, what do you hate eating the most? And for me, this used to be about purpose, but you know, it's pretty good now. And I'll talk to you in my next video.